we're going to be doing another one digit by one digit multiplication on the abacus using the counting method. So I start here with my multiplicand and I want to set that in the extreme left. And so I'm going to set three on the left hand side of my abacus. One, two, three. Now I'm going to say the multiplication problem as I start on the extreme right and, and, and touch each rod. Three times two. And where my finger lands, I set my multiplier. One, two. Now I'm going to move my right index finger to the immediate right of my multiplier. And I'm going to use my left index finger to read my problem. Let's start here. Two times three. Two times three is six. But when I think of it here on my abacus, I want to think of it as zero, six. So I'm going to say zero and set zero in my tens rod and then six. So I need to set six here in the units rod. One, two, three, four, five, six. Before I can read my product, I need to clear my multiplier and then I can say my answer is six. So I want to show you how that could have gone wrong if we didn't say zero, six. So let's put the two for the multiplier back on and we'll clear this. If we did not say zero, six, we might have set the six in the tens rod. So if we set the six in the tens rod and then cleared our multiplier, that would read the answer to be 60 and not six. So that's where the problem comes in. So that's why we need to make sure when we're thinking of it, we say zero, six and set it in the appropriate rod.